Recalls for cars spiking. Maybe your car. Automakers recalling 22 million cars and trucks here in the U.S. last year. That is a nine year high. That, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. So, why is this going on? Let's bring in Larry Prince, an auto expert. Larry, what is up with this? It sounds like every car in the world is being recalled. <laughs> it certainly seems that way. Can you imagine? 632 different recalls last year. Now, you know, when you think recalls, you think like, oh, Chevy Corvair, Vega, you know, the Automotive Hall of Fame stuff, right? The reality is there are a lot of reasons for this. Um, mostly it's because a lot of parts underneath the car are being shared now. So you might have a Golf, your daughter might have a Beetle, and your neighbor might have an Audi A4, and guess what? They all might use the same engine, they all might have the same suspension, and so if there's a problem with that, you're going to find that you're going to have a recall just like they do. You know, Larry, I'm not loving this. I got to tell you, I, I, that's all <laughs> I need is to get my car recalled. Is, does it get worse in the future? Is there something about the way that cars are getting recalled that means that more of them will be called back? Well, yes, yes, there's a real reason for this. Part of it is because there are fewer suppliers, but more importantly, it's because of what the federal government did. If you remember back around the time that, well, Firestone tires were coming off of Ford Explorers and turning soccer moms into stunt drivers, you're going to remember that Congress acted, and they enacted something called the Transportation Recall Enhancement Accountability and Documentation oh, Lord, Act. Oh, come tread. on. Give me the shorthand on that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's called TREAD. And, yeah, cute, huh? But the reality is what it did is it not only <laughs> held automakers accountable for, say, knowing about recalls and, right. and ignoring them. So the shorthand but, on this is the government says to the automakers, if you have a problem, you must report it to us, and if you don't, the lawsuits are on your head, right? Not only lawsuits, but get this, if someone dies as a result of it, they're going to be held criminally liable. Wow, okay, so, so, who wants so that? now these automakers are probably over-reporting problems, but look, I don't want to soft-pedal this, because I think some of these recalls are danger situations. Chrysler has the most recalls. Why is that, and is there a problem with Chrysler manufacturing? Um, they're certainly having a lot of issues as a result of the merger and integrating all the different platforms they have to do. But keep in mind, some recalls are more serious than others. For right. instance, Chrysler might have a recall that, um, for engine fires or, or for something like that, whereas there might be another recall where Toyota, for instance, they had unintended acceleration, but they also had a recall for spider webs building up in drain holes oh, and blocking drainage. That's okay, silly. And that was a Recall. Spider web buildup. <laughs> I really don't care. But tell me, what, what are the recalls that are important that could make the difference in your safety? Well, it, it's certainly the ones that you, that you need to be fixed, that need to be addressed immediately. And those are the ones that could put yourself at risk or when you're they? operating the car that could lead to sudden failure. In your engines, in your braking, if it's something about um, if you're possibly rear-ended, although being rear-ended is, is not the most common crash. If you're concerned about crash safety, the most common crash is actually the front offset crash, where you're headed in one direction and the person heading towards you hits, say, the front left or right corner. Those, that's really the most top common right. type of crash, and that's and a recall well, affecting Larry, something up me, front like that. I, I get things important. can go wrong, but tell me, what is the, the recall of the last year that you thought, wow? This was important. This was serious. People need to know about it. Well, the people need to know about it are always always know about it because they send you a letter and they do notify you. But when you're, if it's, for instance, there was one I think from Chrysler I believe that really affected towing hitches, and it came out uh, right around the time when people were doing a lot of towing. I got to tell you, if I'm following a boat, I don't want that thing to come unhitched because of a oh, rusty no. hitch. No, no, no. <laughs> so you could really be in trouble. All right. Well, so you know we're having a little bit of fun with this, but the reality is you still have to pay attention to these notices when. You you get it in the mail because it could be something super serious. Larry, thanks for coming on the show tonight. Appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank and you for having me. Most welcome. Thank you so much. And now we want to know what you think. Here's our question tonight. Vehicle recalls hitting a nine-year high. Do you feel safer? Log on to jerrywillis.com. Vote on the right-hand side of the screen. I'll share the results at the end of tonight's show.